Hello everybody, I have with me Venon from Zeus Coffee, the COO of Zeus Coffee. Oh my god, Venon, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks, thanks you know, for having me. Thank you so much for coming over here and uh, you know, we can't wait to hear your story. Probably you should uh, begin with sharing a bit of your history, I mean, as in where mm. you come from and you know, your your education background mm. and what did you do and you know whether you you went to a university or not maybe maybe okay. you're a dropout or something okay okay yeah so so i personally i'm from I'm from kl i uh, went to school in kl kl boy born and bred um, went to during uni uh, i actually went to uk worked there for a few years and then i came back i uh, was actually in corporate yeah, i was actually in corporate for two years in, in malaysia um, specifically in e-commerce itself so during that time was a time where uh, e-commerce was still very very new yeah where uh, before digital marketing was called digital marketing it's called e-marketing yeah so you can you can sort of guess how old am i la. Uh, but yeah so during that time was very much in corporate then i uh, had an opportunity to meet someone um, and then started my business from there um, personal background i actually went through uh, law school yeah so i'm actually a law grad myself and how do i stumble upon uh, starting businesses was very much um, going through tough times lah. Yeah, back in the days, uh, couldn't go to uni, then have to have to make a quick buck or two, right? So that's that's very much how I actually learned to run business. And uh, yeah, and then again my experience from there, interest and, and yeah, that's that's how it all started. Yeah. So now um, I actually run uh, Zeus Coffee, so I'm the CEO of the company. I oversee uh, the entire operation itself, and uh, we have about 330-ish stores over the past four years. And um, yeah, I mean, when we first started the business, we never imagined that we could scale the business to this size. Um, started from a very very humble uh, 300 square feet uh, uh, coffee kiosk. Yep, and during that time it was actually very very tough for us because our business model is still very very new in Malaysia. Yep. Um, how or what our USPs are very much um, is that you can actually order our coffee through the app. Yep. So we also call ourselves as the number one coffee delivery. I believe we are um, during that time and until now as well. Because um, back then when we started the business, no one actually believed in, in, in the model. Yep. And then uh, other USPs are of course our drinks, our lineups are very, very much vibrant. Um, so yeah, during that time, people were still not able to sort of like relate this business model in the market. Uh, but then uh, fortunately and unfortunately, there was actually COVID that hit that sort of changed the entire consumer behavior where everyone started to order coffee online. Um, so that's how we uh, started to gain a lot of traction, um, acquired a lot more customers, and then we scaled from there. So uh, the, the motto that we have on a day-to-day -day basis was very much go big or go home kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So uh, four years, fast forward, and then uh, that's where we are right now. There is, you know, coffee beans, Starbucks, and, you know, those big chains. So... What it is? What was it in your mind that that you think that you know? It's like you know. I mean, it's like coffee shop or I mean, all these big store chains is already there. Yeah. So, yeah. so the market is very saturated, yeah. right? That's why you're trying to say. Um, but yeah, so so the vision actually came from the founder, founder himself, also our CEO currently, uh, where uh, he went to China and saw this business model, which which is very very amazing, right? So your conventional way of going to a coffee shop is very much queuing up, uh, ordering a drink, and then um, you know, maybe five, 10 minutes later, someone calls out your name and then you collect your drink, right? Um, so one thing very interesting over there was that everything was actually powered through an app. Yeah. And uh, ourselves, we, we like tech. Um, uh, so, so building an app was no brainer for us. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So during that time, it was like, oh, how are we able to bring this idea back into Malaysia and really roll it out? That's why I mentioned earlier, um, challenges during the early days were very much where um, people were questioning in terms of like, why do I have to order coffee through an app, right? Uh, so yeah, and um, but we really, really like the idea. Yeah, so uh, that's how it all started. And um, again, we started off with one store, it was doing okay. Of course, during initial stages, we were giving out free coffees, we were subsidizing, making sure that people actually know uh, what we're doing. Yeah, and um, yeah, so then we had second, third stores, then everything else was very much history to us. Um, 
uh, then we were trying out different formats, reaching out to different customer base, rolling out different uh, drinks and all. Uh, currently, we roll out uh, one new series every six weeks. Yeah, uh, back then it was like still rolling out one new drink. It was like a bit challenging for us as well. Uh, but yeah, so so um, a lot of learning, a lot of of course buzzword here is very much hustling, right? And and uh, yeah, that's that's how we grew up. And along the way, we really really believe in it. There was a lot of opportunity. There was a lot of gaps in the market. Then um, yeah, we decided to scale. And um, yeah, of course people will still question in terms of like market is saturated like do you think you can still grow i think there's still plenty of uh, space for us to grow in the market yeah there are other chains for instance uh, your your typical qsrs that have more than uh, the number of stores that we have yeah and we find that our coffee is very much a necessity uh less of you know a luxury whereby on weekends you go with your friends and family it's more of something that is more functional that you can have on a daily basis yeah um, so yeah, so we, we still very much believe in not just the current business itself, but also growth. And um, yeah, and we are very very fortunate to also uh, along the way meet a lot of different kind of talents uh, that have gathered a lot of ideas and, and rolling out different verticals. So stay tuned in terms of uh, the new products that we're rolling out in the near future. So did any one of you had any retail uh, background or coffee background, or are they one of the you know a bar- barista or something? Yeah, so one of our uh, co-founders is actually our head barista. Yeah, so he's the one who uh, knows in terms of coffee. Yeah, and I would say that among all the co-founders itself, we are we have different skill sets and strengths, lah. But I would say that that's only so much we know in terms of the retail business. And um, along the way, it was still very much learning. Yeah, zero to one, setting up a kiosk. Again, it's very much logical. It's very much no-brainer, I would say. Then from 1 to 10, a bit challenging. Then from 10 to 100, it's a total different ball game. Uh, and now I would say that we're very much a, a corporate, uh, corporate, corporate rather than a, a coffee business per se. Yeah. And um, yeah, everything else is very much BAU for us. So, so yeah, I think on a day-to-day basis, it's still learning for us. Like how do you manage, uh, not, not so much of just the stores, but also uh, supply chain, managing people, yep, and, and so on. From the day you start to where you are today, hmm. what was the most toughest experience that you went through that, and how did you fix it? And how others can learn actually from, from this experience? Okay, I think, uh, yeah, I, I get this question all the time. Um, to us, there is a lot of firefighting every day, right? There's a lot of putting in framework into the business because we started off from zero and we have scaled so quickly uh, over four years right and a lot of things were again very very new to us yeah but i still think that the biggest challenge in the entire business itself is managing people uh, because everything else is very much about learning skill sets technicalities once you have the know-how you can pretty much fix it or hire talents to come in and you know help you to sort certain problems but people is uh, less of science but very much an art, yeah. Because uh, people is not so much of just very objective thinking, right? But it's also having to deal with the emotions. So uh, I would say that the, the biggest, biggest challenge in the business itself is very much the culture. Yeah, because the culture of the business is how it actually helps us to manage people. Yeah, yeah so we are very, very hands-on in terms of making sure that uh, the right people comes in, uh, the right culture setting in the business itself is, is, is there, yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I would think that on a day-to-day uh, basis, uh, culture, people, biggest challenge. Did having someone guide you make a difference and how people like us, you know, uh, would actually find someone to help us out? Yeah, I think um, we're very, very fortunate because when we first started the business, we actually had a mentor and also very much our angel investor as well. Uh, he actually provided a lot of guidance and then providing a lot of sparks along the way, right? And, and giving us some ideas. Um, and yeah, of course, uh, along the way, there were also a lot of partners, a lot of people that we've met that gave us a lot of guidance. Of course, people who actually believe in our business and also the brand itself, um, that have made us who we are today. Lah. So, I mean, without them, uh, there wouldn't be Zeus. Lah. And uh, one liner that we always say is that there is no Zeus without you. Uh, because that U.S., right, without the U, you can't smell Zeus, uh, which is very, very true. 
um, not only just you know mentors, people, uh, uh, suppliers, customers who have actually given us all these feedbacks, valuable feedbacks that have shaped us into who we are. It's also our people that have, or our team members who have really made us uh, who we are. Yeah. So, so I think these are all the people that have actually taught us on how to run the business, and um, yeah, that, that's how we grew. So just say someone who has an idea, who has mm. a vision, and you know who wants to be who wants to be successful like you all. Mm. Tell me the secret. You know how do I find the mentor? I mean, what 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 is the the secret behind? What is the tips that you can share? Okay, I think I think ultimately there's no there's no secret there's no secret sauce and whatnot, right? It's really about um, trying certain things out. A lot of times, uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, during COVID time, uh, we roll out. Funny, funny kind of stuff. We roll out bottle coffee purely because we believe that people stay at home. They want to have the luxury of opening the refrigerator, and then that's coffee in there, right? And uh, yeah, so we we keep trying. We don't we don't really have number. Of course, now we do have um, professionals who actually can come up with numbers to justify like, But back then, it's still very much gut feel, right? So go on, try it out. If let's say it's good, then go all in, right? If not, then it's fine because. Uh, the more, the faster you fail, the faster you grow, right? And then always believe in that. And then in terms of finding mentors, it's just very much uh, meeting more people. And uh, along the way, it's also doing good. Lah. Yeah, so that, uh, you know, there are really nice and good people that is willing to uh, provide you uh, very, very valuable feedback and also help you to grow. Yeah, yeah. so so I think, again, no, no secret sauce. I'm quite sure that uh, these are things that you would have probably seen or read anywhere else. Yeah, so so we just follow. Yeah, we just follow. Mm. Okay, I'm sure many of the people that is viewing this video right now or viewing this uh, interview right now would love to be sitting here at your seat. Would you be able to share uh, some of your advice or your tips uh, to these people out there? How that they can? Uh, what are they? What should they be looking forward to in this new year and uh, to be successful? Okay, I think um, don't be, I mean, don't feel down if let's say you have any ideas that you really want to work on, right? Um, I think just, just go ahead with it, um, try it out, yeah, and um, yeah, I think put in all your effort. Um, of course, feedbacks and uh, advices are very much welcome, but sometimes you just got to try to make sure that uh, you know, you validate your business, right? Similarly to us, when we first started, no one actually believed in the business. People do not believe that why do they need to use app to place order for coffee because it's not something that's very common. We went ahead to try it out as much as it was very challenging. Things change. Yeah, landscape change, dynamics change, you know, stars were aligning and, and uh, things were in our favor. Yeah, and then uh, we keep moving. Yeah, I still remember back in 2021, that was like, COVID lockdown um, two times a year, right? Uh, massive lockdown. And we still managed to open um, close to 50 stores. Yeah, so we ended 2021 with 60 stores and people were like, you're crazy. How are you able to do uh, so many stores in one year in, in, uh, in the year of lockdown, right? And we were still very new. That was like our second year in business. Then uh, last year, 2022, we did three times the number of stores, which is from 60 to 180. Again, people were like, you're crazy how are you able to do it yeah and again these are all negativities right um so yeah uh, that that was one and this year itself we told people that we're going to double the amount of stores that we have and uh we are very very close to hitting our targets and uh yeah so i i think in uh the, the key takeaway from here is very much if you believe in it go for it if you fail it's fine try again um pivot, think of other ideas and all. Uh, but most important thing is if you try, if you don't try, there's no chance. If you try, there's still 50% chance. So yeah, go for it. Wow, this is amazing. Thank you so much, Venon, for your... Thank you. For spending time with me here today. Thank you. And for your sharing. And uh, based on the interview today, I have one word that I've heard so many times coming up from him. Is the word called belief. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks so much.